Hello everybody, this is your boy, the almighty green talent coming you with a video which concerns today's, well not today's, but actually this pertain to the, the loss that we suffered that as Cowboys this on um, this past weekend. We lost that game on Saturday, you know what I'm saying, Christmas Eve, and that what makes it the worst thing about it. Uh, the Eagles have one of the best records in winning games on holiday weekends, and this is the first time I believe that we actually lost in quite a while. We lost that game against the Dallas Cowboys 40 to 34. Now, four turnovers is the reason why we lost this game. And most importantly, there was a third and 30 play that the Eagles let get by them. They let this guy, T.Y. Hidden, former Saint, the former um, Indianapolis coach wide receiver, he caught that ball over the pad, over the top. Of, I won't say that was Jane Blackberry. He caught that ball over Jane Blackberry for 30, for, for, for 35, 36 yards, you know what I'm saying? And so that kind of put the damper on his Eagles defense. So the thing is, one thing about in the NFL, you never know what to expect, but then we all know to put teams away, that's how you put it, that's how you do plays. You do plays like that. And that's what the, that what the Cowboy did, uh, that, that play, third and 30, was the dagger in the Eagles' heart, and we lost that game. 40 34. But anyway, I'm gonna bring you guys some, some stats. So bear with me. It's like because I got it written down on paper here. So bear with me because I'm quite sure. Because everybody has, has, has made that video already of the lock between Saturday and Sunday. So I'm making mine the day after, two days after Christmas. So bear with me. So as, as I get this taken care of at the meeting, and then at, when you're done, comment, like, share, subscribe, notification bell on the top. And most importantly, comment in the comment section below. So here we go, let's go and get started. Garner Minshew, 24 of 40 for 355 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions. Um, Gainswell on passing, I mean, oh yeah, oh yeah, uh, on rushing, rushing. Uh, Gainswell on rushing for, for four for 17 yards. Minshew had four for five yards, a touchdown score, which he did on, at the one yard line to get the, to get the score. Matter of fact, I think it was 20, 20 to 14, so on 2014, 40, 2017, somewhere over there when we got the we got the lead back on for halftime. And Sanders had a pretty good modest day. Uh, he had 21 carries for 65 yards, no score. Receiving, AJ Brown, six for 103, gains well, four for 41, got up three for 67, which is pretty good based on his return from a four-week shoulder injury that he suffered against the Washington um, Commanders. Zach Pasco had um, one for six. Sanders one for six. Devonta Smith had eight for 113 yards. He had the most yards. He had 11. He had 10 more yards more than um, AJ Brown, but he had two scores, which was the difference. Um, and then Quentin and then Quentin Watkins one for 19. All right, defense. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, breaking ship. Eight tackles, four assists. Bradbury, two tackles. Cox, two tackles. Um, um, Devon, the, uh, um, Jordan Davis, two tackles, two assists. He had an injury on one of those six tackles, and, that, and, and, and he got out of the game and wasn't seen no more after that. Um, TJ Edwards had 14 tackles, six assists. Epps, six tackles, one assist. Brandon Graham, two tackles, one assist, a half sack. Javon Hargrove, one tackle. Um, Pete Johnson, one tackle. Lombard Joseph, five tackles, one assist. Avante Maddox, three tackles, no assists, one sack. Hasim Reddick, four tackles, two sacks, one fourth fumble. Uh, which we'll get to who recovered the fumble later on in the stats. Um, Jay Scott, two tackles. Um, Darius Clay, Three tackles, one assist. Um, Adamic and Sue, two tackles, one assist, half sack. Josh Wick, I couldn't point he had more sack than this. Josh Wick, um, three tackles, two assists, a half sack, the interception that he that he caught and ran, ran in for the score, which was his first career interception and his first career in sack total 10.5. Um, Kazir White, six tackles, three assists, half sack. 
Um, Milton Williams, three tackles. Special teams. Ball, ball the clock. Two returns for 54 yards. We had no punts on both sides of the field. And Jake Elliott had two for, he was two for two and four for four XP. All right. Now, I had to make this video here in a different location because where I was currently staying, my current sitting to make the first video before I got in, if I came in another city location because of the fact there's a lot of noise. So now I got a, I got some quiet in here. So it will be no noise, less sound, more of my voice, more interaction. So as also, as always, comment, like, share, subscribe, notification bell on top, and comment in the comment section below and give me a thumbs up. So let me know that you've seen my video and also let me know that, that my video has gotten all out through YouTube land. And most importantly, when you give me a thumbs up, like I said, prayers out. And when you comment and let me know you, you like the video or you want to comment on based on what I said in the video. Or like I said, every, every other content, every, every Eagles content creator have made their video the day of the, before the game, the day of the game, and, and the day after the game. So they did they, so they, they, they their Saturday and Sunday. I could have did mine Monday, but Monday was an off day, so I didn't really want to make no video because I was spending time with my wife, you know what I'm saying? And then, so today, when I'm, with me coming back to work, I'm able to do this and get it done for you guys. And like I said, again, I'm sorry for making this late video, but like I said, I'm not exactly sure what, exactly sure what week this is, but like I said, I will put the week in the uh, notification or the notification in the, um, in the uh, um, title of the video so you'll know exactly what week it was and again you guys enjoy this content and you guys enjoy me and most important to all my youtube creators out there um bbg31 mid b31 um de90 philly fan always uh um uh, 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 philly notion um uh, philly girl uh, um all of y'all that's in youtube land i can't name all y'all so many of you guys the name some of you guys, I am um, a subscriber, a subscriber to your content because I watch your content. Oh yeah, Joy Shakes, 5500, and, uh, and, and my main man, LB, or Lord Bronson, you know what I'm saying? These, these people that I watch, and I'll get, and, and that's what they got to say because these guys, I, these people that I'm, that I'm mentioning to you are professional Eagles content creators. I'm an amateur, you know what I'm saying? Maybe one day I will grow into a better content creator with better um, scenery, um, a microphone in my hand, which I'm, which I'm in the process of working on. Because if I get the mic, I think I'll be good when I finally get a mic that has some speaker to it. That's why I want to put headphones on my ears, or better yet, be in a, in a quiet location when I'm doing the video. Because one thing about my mics has been to cancel all, all around noise. So, so when I make a video, you may hear slight noise. You won't have you won't hear too many, too much of noise. So getting a mic will be very important to me. And as always, fly, eagles fly, and peace, enjoy Tuesday, and um, the Eagles play the New Orleans Saints at home this week. So that game we need to win, but to me, in my opinion, I also stated on YouTube, no YouTube, on Facebook, that we need some help in a sense, not much help, but a little help. We need to win one game. We beat the Saints, we secure the number one seed. But the Cowboys got to lose for us to win the NFC East. So I'm hoping they, I'm hoping that they lose against the Titans this weekend. The Titans need to give us, they need to give us an early Christmas present. See if we weren't able to get us as a Christmas present this Saturday. We're going to depend. We're going to be hoping that the that the um, the Titans give us a, a late Christmas present. If they lose, we will be the NFC East champs and secure the number one seed with a victory. But. My main concern also is the Vikings. The Vikings are one game behind us. I hope they lose this weekend as well, so we can be top of the top bracket when it comes to being number one seed. That's most important to me. That's most important to me right now is to have some distance between the Cowboys and distance between the Vikings, so we can have a little bit more legitimacy to see where everything paces itself out. So. Again, I'm sorry, I hate to get into more details, but I just wanted to go ahead and let you guys know where I stand when it comes to this, um, the NFC playoff race, because it kind of, it kind of setting itself up now, so once that, once that is finally secure, I will be more happy. 
and more satisfying than, than what I was when they even off the cowboy this when they did past weekend, Christmas Eve. And that was kind of disappointing. I was, I was they fought back. We lost by six points, but it was disappointing because of the four interceptions and that third and third play that they allowed over the top of Brad Barry's head. So that's my main focus and disappointment, happy and disappointment. So it is what it is. I mean, everybody have their situations about how the game was lost, how it was won, yada, yada, yada. I ain't got time to talk about all that. I just want to go ahead and get that in and get the stats in for you guys so you can understand and where I'm going to come from. And then also, like I said, please come in the comment section below. Let me know what you like this video and think about me bringing some content to you guys. Again, peace, enjoy, holla back.